Okay, my commission, then minus my expenses, minus my taxes is... Huh? <laughs> hey there! And Welcome again at Prop Coach here, of course, again with your coach Taco here coming to you today with another special video. And you can see it already in the title, right? Financial advice for you, real estate agents, real estate negotiators, real estate professionals all around the world. Do they actually need financial advice? Well, in my opinion, they are the ones that need the most financial advice because I see that a lot of real estate agents, real estate professionals out there are still treating their career as a job. And listen to me very carefully. Who is paying for your car? Who's paying for your insurance? Who is paying your salary? You, right? You are paying everything yourself, so you cannot call this a job anymore. We have said this over many, many videos. We spent a lot of time in trainings and workshops explaining agents out there, listen, you gotta start treating your career as a business. Yes, as a real business. Like any entrepreneur or business owner in the world, you need to look at your real estate career as a business. Now today, financial advice, if you're treating it as a business, you also have to look at the numbers as a business. Now here comes a trick question. Is your commission your salary? Is your commission your salary? Now, if you're sitting behind the laptop or behind your phone doing something like, yeah, yeah, I think my commission is your salary. Ah, wrong. No, your commission is not your salary. Your commission is simply only your revenue. Like any business owner, right? It's just the income for the business. And from there onwards, you have to start thinking, okay, how much of this revenue am I going to put back into the business as in reinvestment to bring in new business, how much is going to be spent on the expenses for running my business and how much am I left with to basically pay myself? Because if you treat it like a job, you take the whole commission and you don't leave anything behind to invest back in the business and start building up that business even more. You know, the snowball effect, you put a little bit of money back and you let the snowball rolling down and down and get bigger, bigger, bigger. Now, let me give you a little advice that I also did in a previous video, right? The first thing that I just want you to do, whenever you get a commission in, into your business, right? You simply just have to split it up first. Put in this side, you put 60% and this is basically what you can pay yourself. This is from the revenue, from commission that is revenue, 60% you pay as yourself as a salary. The remaining 40% you keep it in the business. What do you pay with that? You pay your taxes, your car, your phone, all your expenses. But whatever you do in the business side, you take 30% for marketing cost marketing cost and expenses because that money is actually not a real cost it's an investment in getting traffic back into your business that you can start converting leads and can again start converting deals because if you don't keep that business running if you don't keep generating new leads new business every day then you're just going to keep that roller coaster in fact in your business now I want to give you three final tips in really you know making sure that you always stay focused on that business right one is always lead with revenue right whatever you do all your activities we talk about this a lot in all our videos right lead generation appointments follow-up always lead with revenue make sure that the majority of all your activities is all about bringing in more revenue into that business I see a lot of agents just being distracted I see a lot of agents doing things every day that simply is not giving them more revenue so once you understand this budget model and you understand this financial need of feeding the business more revenue now you know that you need to take the necessary activities on top of that the second thing 
don't waste your money on unnecessary things. It's simple, right? But at the end, it is important. Why don't you start to work that budget model where you put the 60% and the 40%, you also know that you cannot waste any money on unnecessary things. Always reserve some budget to put it back in marketing because that will also give you new business. So the third one, and of course this is a very important one, it may seem obvious, but again, the question is, are you really doing it? Look at your budget every single day. Yes, every single day. I take about 20 to 30 minutes a day in the morning to check what money is coming in, what money is still outstanding, what is my expenses going to do, right? And how far can I stretch that over my business, right? So I don't get paid every single month. You know, sometimes my payments come in bulk every two to three months. In real estate, that is very normal. You close a deal today, the money is only coming in three to four months from now. That means what are you going to do in the meantime? That means every single day, you need to take some time to look at your budget, right? To see how much money is there in the bank, how much money do I have to pay? How much is outstanding, right? Can I survive for the next three, four months? And if you know that you can survive, you will have a peace of mind and you will know exactly what to do, right? But once you know this red alarm starts wrinkling, hey, the money is going down, I will not be able to pay my expenses. This is where you need to <laughs> start hustling a little bit more because you know that, you know, uh, uh, little tough times are coming. So you need to kind of speed up the process, do more follow-ups, do more cold calling, do more lead generation stuff because you know we need to start leading with revenue again. Okay guys, this is all the financial advice that I wanna give you. Remember, 60% 60 60 personal, 40% into your business. Start creating those two accounts. I really hope that this video helped you. If you need some more financial advice or you, have, you need some more clarity on what we just explained to you, feel free to put it in the comment box below or feel free to reach out to us directly at propcoach.com. Uh, propcoach.co. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we'll have so many more videos for you in the future. Again, thank you for watching and of course, see you next time. Bye!